All right, good so evening. good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, you know, thanks for being here and being so punctual. You know, punctual, we say puntual, you know, that's what we say in, in English. All right. And if you want to know how to write it down, ya he comenzado la clase, ya voy con esto, ¿verdad? dicen ustedes. <laughs> All right. So that's how you say, uh, punctual. Uh, All right, there you go. Punctual, it's puntual. Okay, punctual. That's how you say. It. So my question is, are you punctual or not? You know, or are are you late comers? Late comers means tardistas. Okay, late comers. You know, tardistas. That's no. You know, those words are not the uh, word of the evening, but. You know, we have to learn <laughs> those words. And that's the idea over here. So tonight I have uh, some exercises for you. But before, let me share a PDF with the class of tonight, the class for tomorrow, and maybe the class for Thursday. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you a PDF, un PDF, like a textbook, so you can have it. All right, so I think that's that's better. It's something similar as I said as I said yesterday, but this one is 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 an update 2.0, you know, actualization 2.0. That's the update over there. So I'm gonna send it to the chat, you know, to WhatsApp right now. All right. So let me just once come over here. Uh, and if you are also so kind to activate your cameras, you know, to open your cameras whenever you're ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. Because you know, I, I need to get familiar with your faces. Um, so just one second over here. You know, I think it's a good idea just to share with you like a textbook so you can have uh, the information in a better way or more organized. So that's why, uh, and here we go. All right, it's loading. It has a lot of pages, so don't get scared, <laughs> okay? Now I just sent it through. Let me know, please, if you're able to open it. Somebody just tell me, please, teacher. Yes, I got it. I mean, you can tell me Frank, by the way, or Jose. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, I got it. All right, so yes, open, it it open it up. Open it up, please. I got it. And, and, and you know, get familiar. Imagine that this is like a second platform, but this is just for you to study, okay? For those, of, for those of you who are like all school, de la vieja escuela, not because you're old, but because you have, you need to have something, you know, like a hard copy or you need to have like a textbook, but there you have it, okay? All right? And you know, I promise, not like a politician, no como un politico, to, to give you a PDF uh, for the classes, uh, for, for the weekly classes, okay? So I think it's better. And if there's like extra material, I'm going to also share it with you. También se los comparto con mucho gusto. Right? Uh, so I'm opening the presentation for the night, which is the same you have uh, in the textbook. Give me just 10 seconds over here. Okay. Yeah, I, like the, I like the music, you know, in the background, you know, rock. Nice. Somebody's listening to music over there. All right. Um, there we go. One second over here. I don't want to ruin the party, you know, by sharing everything to you right now. And one, two, three. Remember, whenever you're ready, please open your camera so we can actually have a better interaction over here. And um, here it is. All right, so this is a blank page, you may say, so you don't see anything, but guess what? This is the phrase for tonight, to break your back, my back, etc. If it's in parentheses, it means that you can replace it or you can change this with a possessive adjective you can say to break my leg to break to break your leg to break my mom's leg ex uh, uh, i mean to break uh, one's back sorry i was saying something else uh, 
so to break one's back this is a literal uh meaning and of course like we say it in spanish romperse lomo <laughs> okay and that's what we say in spanish all right so to work really hard or make a great effort all right so that's the word for for the evening for example don't break your back trying to please these people they'll never appreciate it please in this case doesn't really mean por favor it means agradar or complacer okay so please also means complacer all right when, when you want to be good or le quiere gustar a todas las personas if you want to be liked by everybody you want to please everybody okay complacer but in this case my emphasis or my focus is break your back romperse la espalda trabajando that's what we say in there okay like in this example take a look i break my back working to support my family but they don't appreciate it okay so it means he works you know uh from five i don't know from seven to six p.m or more but they don't appreciate what he does break your back romperse la espalda okay any any questions about this? No. Any ex or any examples? I break my my back trying to cook very well. Yeah, that happens. Yes. But my question to you, Miss uh, Yanet, Lorena, do do your uh, I mean, does your family appreciate that you cook and that you break your back? <laughs> maybe sometimes sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> at least sometimes right yes we gotta be kind you know kind to our family okay yes because we we sometimes we take things for granted you know yeah. you know we take things for granted you know take i'm gonna i'm gonna send you another expression okay Take everything for granted, all right? Dar las cosas por sentado. That's another yeah. phrase, you know. Take everything for granted. My parents used to tell me this, you know, they told me don't take any, everything for granted. O sea, no las cosas por sentado, las cosas por hechas. Because, you know, uh, if you pay for a private school, for un colegio to your children, you know, you know, that's difficult because you got to work and break your back. Okay, for a good education. So don't take everything for granted that you should say to me. Okay, I think, you know, those words are related over there. All right, but let's move forward in here. Because, you know, this is just the beginning of, of this class for tonight. And uh, here we go. Let me just minimize this and here we go. All right, so tonight we're gonna be working with this uh, listening and it has to do with uh, for sure conversations, asking about these specific uh, questions. So I have uh, the first one and I'm gonna ask, uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Roberto Jimenez, if you would like to help us read the uh, question and the options, please. And then I'm gonna play the listening to everybody and after that, I'm gonna send you the access so you can listen to it again or just to uh, take the quiz by yourself, okay? So okay. now, now, sir, okay. help me help me read, please. Uh, question one and the options A and B, two, three, four, and four, please. Okay. Okay, he has uh, five people in this family. Hmm. Number two. He, uh, his sister are uh, single. Or maybe married, right? Okay, number three. His sister are, uh, his sisters are uh, be, busy white girl. Mm -hmm. Or? He, his dad is uh, a bad cook. Okay. Remember that since it's a short quiz, so you have to decide, you know, decide. It's a multiple choice. It's A and B. So maybe number one, he has uh, um, yeah. five people in his family or maybe he has six uh, uh, family members over there. 
So uh, let me share the, yeah. the, uh, the uh, listening with you very quickly. Okay. Right now, just get familiar, please, with this. Okay, and then I'm gonna send the information to you so you can listen to it and take the quiz and share the score in WhatsApp if you want to. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let me just get the, the audio over here. I have it um, here. And this is the one. All right. And there you go. Now, please let me know if you're able to listen to this, please. It's loading right now. It's loading. My family. Hey, Todd. Yeah. Were you able to listen something over here? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, turn, turn up your volume. Okay. And just listen, please. You're going to tell me, teacher. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I'm ready. So send me the access to this. All right. One, two, three. Here we go. My family. Hey, Todd. Tell me about your family. Well, my family is very nice. There are five people in my family. My mom, my dad, my two sisters, and myself. Nice. Are you the oldest? I am the youngest child, but I am an adult now. I am 45 years old. All right, conversation. So tell me about your sisters. My sisters are both married. They are both mothers, too. My oldest sister is Carrie. She is a manager for a company. And what about your other sister? Michelle is my other sister. She is the middle child in the family. She is an office worker. They're both nice, but they're both busy with their families. Mm -hmm. And what about your mom? My mom is the leader of the family. She is retired now. She is a great cook. I love her home cooking. Her meals are very delicious. How about your dad? Oh, my dad. My dad is a nice guy. He is <laughs> always happy. And he is a really good athlete. He is also a good cook, like my mom. <laughs> he is very funny, and he makes everybody laugh. Right. He is not serious about anything. Okay. Your family sounds very nice. Yeah, I love them a lot. All right. You know, I thought he was going to say, my dad is just nice and happy. And he, he, I thought he was going to say he doesn't know how to cook. But apparently, <laughs> yeah, he's just nice, right? He's the clown of the family, right? He's the clown of the family. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me send the information to you right away. All right. And, you know, for copyrighted uh, things, I cannot share the screen with you. Otherwise, they're going to take down this channel and we don't want that to happen. Okay, uh, just one second over there. Remember, uh, listen to the uh, quiz, uh, get a screenshot, share them on the chat, just for me to see that you're actually here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna send you to a breaker room to practice the conversation, but there is a, a second activity that I really want you to, to practice. Okay, N not only um, this, um, you know, this conversation, but also something else. So let me just one second over here. All right, so my system is just loading a little bit in here, but I'm gonna just get it very quickly. All right. You know, uh, sometimes I get confused uh, because you know, long the, the last, uh, the last module that I have, I used to have intermediate, you know, from uh, from eight to nine, and also intermediate level for nine to ten. But in your case, I have intermediate, you know, from eight to nine, and now a pre-intermediate with you, from uh, nine to ten, which is okay. You know, I'm happy, but so I have to change the screens and everything, and sometimes you know that drives me a little bit uh, confused. <laughs> so I apologize for that. All right. So. Yes, I found it. Sorry about that. And here we go. There you go. I sent it to WhatsApp. Did you get it? Got it. All right, yes, so I get it. 
so in there in there you have the quiz please listen to it and just uh, send the, the score to me very quickly and then uh, practice the conversation okay okay all right so I'm going to mute your microphones right now so we don't inter interrupt each other over here Hello, teacher. Yeah, my arm is here, yes. Yep. Yeah, how can I help you? Thank you. Um, la práctica de la conversación de la grama que aparece acá. Uh, en la primera. Uh -huh. I like your family is photos. Who is this? Yeah, who, who, yeah who, who's a doctor? You know, uh, um, no, but maybe this is not the correct one, right? The one I sent you. Yeah, I think I sent you something else. But am I correct? Okay. Yeah, I think I sent you the wrong information, my brother. So I'm sorry about that. I apologize. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But it's it's same practice as the simple press. I might think it doesn't hurt anybody over here. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Perdonen que creo que les mandé la información um, equivocada de listening. So I send the, the wrong information over there. But I'm going to correct myself right now. Okay. So bear, bear with me just one moment. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm sorry about that. I just found it. But let's do something in here, you know, instead. Hagamos algo mejor. Perdón. So access to the second uh, link I just sent to WhatsApp over there. All right. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so and uh, you're going to practice this with your classmates. So, But for that, I need to send you to a record room. But be, besides this, you're going to be practicing the following. So look at this, please. I'm going to share the screen with you. So just uh, pay close attention to me. Just, just for a second, please. All right. So lo look at the screen I'm about to share with you. All right. O sea, se lo correctamente en la presentación y todo, solamente el enlace. Disculpen que se lo mandé de forma incorrecta. Uh, so first of all, practice the, the, the script with a partner. You, you have a conversation one, my family, etc., etc. It's actually just one conversation. I, I will say this, but it's a little bit long. And then let's try to review. If you want all the, these exercises, but you get to choose out of these four exercises, you got, you got to complete only two. For example, you have exercise number four, six, uh, eight and nine is only one, I would say, and then number 10. Let's say maybe Miss Miss Peña, Lorena, uh, maybe you're gonna just uh, practice number four and maybe number eight and nine or, nine or number 10. So you don't have to complete them all, but choose two, okay, choose two, all right? But in this case, it's a speaking exercise. So, so you don't have to write anything. 
So just one more time, please practice the conversation and then just two out of these uh, four exercises, only two, all right? Understood, everyone? Entiendo que vamos a, de esas vamos a elegir dos conversaciones eh, con, el, eh, con el compañero que nos toque. Correct. Así yes. es? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Thank you. All right, and besides that, practice the conversation. So you're going to practice the conversation and just do some exercises over that. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, making the breaker rooms right now, and you're going to practice with somebody else. All right? So join the rooms, please. All right, so Karen is with Mauricio, Ana with Laura, Carla with Kevin, Delia with Juan Pablo, and then uh, Juan Solis with Roberto, Areli with... Um, Let's see over here. Jacqueline with Rosa, Christopher, and then Fernando and Isa, Isa. All right, so Isael, if you could join, yes, if you could join this, it will be great. All right, so Mr. Isael, how are you, sir? Hello. Hello. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, so let's practice the conversation because uh, I know you're Fernando, right? I'm sorry about that. Uh, yes. So Fernando, let's practice this, please. If you want, I'm going to be Amy, you're going to be Todd, okay? Yo, Amy. No, I'm going I'm to be Amy yes. uh, and, and you, you're going to be Todd, please. Yes? Okay. But I think, yes. but I, you know, I, I think Isael is over here. So Isael, can you hear us, sir? Isael, can you hear us? Yes, teacher. All right, so no let's problem. practice. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry about it. So uh, practice with, with Fernando. Fernando's going to be Todd, and then uh, you're going to be Amy, and you can change the uh, the roles over there, please. If you don't okay. All right, so I got to go. Um, hey, Todd, tell me about your family. Yeah, my family. Uh, ah, okay. Entonces, primero sería, he has six people in his family. Sí. Yes. Sí, es, uh -huh. ahí es. Ok. Entonces, contesta, ¿contestamos esta primero o nos vamos a, 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 a la conversación? Si quiere, nos vamos a la conversación porque esa ya la, ya la habíamos. Ah, ok. Ah, My family sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Entonces, eh, eh, empiezo yo si quiere. Correcto. Ok. Hey, Todd, tell me about your family. Well, My family is very nice. There are five people in my family. My mom, my dad, my, my two sisters. Yes, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, eh, ¿Verdad que tenemos que el, el complementar los ejercicios 4, 6 y 8 y 10 y elegir dos conversaciones de esas? Solamente de, de los de los que me mencionó, de todos esos, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10, solo elija dos, dos en total. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Only two, nice. yes. Nice. Yeah, maybe. Como ayer trabajamos algunos. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, but these are different. The ones you did yesterday were 1, 2, and 3. Yes. Nice. Yeah, and today, I mean nice. tonight. So you have the option to, to do only two, and you choose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you okay. choose. Okay. Did you practice the conversation already? <laughs> no, I haven't practiced. Yeah, no. yeah. Try to practice, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Ahorita. All right. All right. So I gotta go over here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Y si hacemos mejor el 10 y el 9, es que yo me confundí porque en realidad yo Ayer con el otro compañero, nosotros estábamos casi todos los 
los ejercicios. Como quiera. Pero okay. tenemos que practicar la primera también. Uh -huh. My family. Practiquemos y después este, hacemos los, los la, elegimos las dos, porque ya se pasó el tiempo. Ya, <risa> <Okay. Yeah>, exacto. <risa> Um, and this is Mario. He is from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mario. Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Entonces, del eight or nine or ten. All right. So, which one are you working on right now? Excuse me. Mm, no, uh, I, you're choosing right now. Están eligiendo ahorita. You're yes. choosing which one to. You're choosing. All right. Yes. If I were you, this is just me. If I were you, I would just do number eight and nine, just that, because these are conversations, as you can see in there. Don't you think so? You see, okay. number number eight, it's a conversation, and number nine, it's also another conversation. The first one is Sara and Rick, and then the second one is Alex and Tina. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Kevin, hacemos el... I mean, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, uh, Carla, the idea is to practice, you know, in, in a communicative way. So, si pusiera hacer los planas, ejercicios, I would just tell you, okay, do everything. But that's not the idea. Okay. Okay, okay. claro. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And get up very early, around six, and I get to work at seven. I have my first class at eight thirty. I don't get home until night usually. And what right. do you do for fun? Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, uh, which one are you practicing right now? Yeah. yeah, what are you uh, uh -huh. to conversation? Conversation number two the and the and the um lo que envió del del en el al WhatsApp. Sí, eh, cuál de todas, perdón, which one? Number two. Number two. Sí, pero, pero, Ah, perdón, eh, esta, my family. Hey, so tell me about your family, no. Yeah, my family. Sí, right. uh, next, next. Is it number one. Uh, All right. Eh, porque los escuché que mencionaron, no sé, horas, a las siete, no sé qué. Perdón, y, pero no está aquí. Es conversación número dos. All right, yeah, the thing is, yeah, the, this one. No. No, what happens is the following, Roberto. The thing is that I, you know, by mistake, I send you another conversation that you were not supposed to practice. So that's what happens. So, but, but, it, but I mean, but if you were practicing, no problem. I mean, that's yeah, yeah that's perfect. That's okay. what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you you got zero. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. No worry about that. So what you gotta do, sir, is um, just move forward. Okay. So. So you can choose to complete exercise four, six, or maybe ah, okay. eight or nine, or just do number 10. But in total, out of five, pick two, okay? Okay. And okay. just, this is just, this is just a, a tip. Listen, please. Okay. Uh, exercise eight and exercise uh, nine, okay, are, are two conversations. So I think it's better to complete eight and nine because it's a conversation and you're gonna practice a conversation. Okay. Between okay. Sara, between Sara and, and Rick, and also between Alex and Tina. It's up to you. Usted Sarah, Rick, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello, I am Sara. And then you go, hi, Sarah, I'm Rick, how are you? And then you go, pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? And then you choose an answer over here. 
No, I'm not. I'm on vacation. Or, uh, and then you, you got to choose the answer. So, primero, you have to complete it first. And then you got to practice it. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice, but they are but busy with their families. Uh -huh. She's a no. She's a great cook. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yes, I love. Uh -huh. uh, busy with family. Teacher is is busy or busy? Es como bicicleta, busy. Ah, busy. Uh -huh. Busy. Remember, busy. como una bicicleta, busy. busy. Okay, busy. Busy. The four. His dad is nice and happy. Nice. Oh yeah, married, married. Married. Number two. Uh, number two is married. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Y arriba hay unas preguntas. Sí, son esas las que están. Dice, ajá, las que están colocando. Dice, no, I'm not and on vacation. Are you starting? Le pregunta a Sara. Y él le dice, yes, I am. Yes, ajá, I am. Y, y en la... Con... De... Eh, en Sería, la otra le dijo, is... What are your classmates like? Y en la otra que le contesta, oh, really, y Susan Miller in your class? Y entonces la respuesta sería, yes, she is, is, is she your friend or no? Mm, it would be, what, what sería are you number... Ah, thank you. Entonces, <laughs> solo cuando va de vacaciones es que contesta que es interesante. Uh, really... let's, do, let's do something over here, Noemi. I'm going to practice the, this conversation with uh, Frank. You know, Frank is square, Frank al cuadrado. You know, Mr. Gonzalez and me. So uh, you're going to be Rick, uh, Frank, and I'm going to be Sara. Okay? okay. So hello, hello, I'm Sara. Hi, Sara. Hi. I'm Rick. Where are you? Ah, lo siento. ¿Quién, quién iba a comenzar? Perdón, te entendí. No, no sí, 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 o sea, supuestamente nosotros dos, ¿verdad? Pero, pero si usted gusta, ah. no de mí, ya está lista. No, está bien. Vaya. Eh, ok, pretty, pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? Ah, Frank. 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 <laughs> Frank. <laughs> ok, no, I'm not. I am vacation. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Where are you class, McLeod? They're, they're really interesting. And uh, hi, Rick. Interesting. Uh, oh, really? It's Susan Miller in your class? Uh, yes, she is. Uh, is she your friend? <laughs> no, she's not. She's my sister. Uh -huh. It's like, okay. Que le quiere caer, ba? Solo tengo una pregunta. Dice, classmate, like, ¿cuál es la pronunciación correcta? Aún no lo... No classmates, 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 yes. Class compañero, yes. Com compañero de cuarto es roommate, okay, roommate. mates, roommate, yes. classmate. classmate. Like. yeah, classmate, yeah, Class. compañero classmate. de clase, que okay. mate significa Class. compañero, okay. Mm -hmm. y, okay, y como es en el salón es classmate, si es en el, en, 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 en habitación, roommate, all right, roommate, yes, Mate. roommate over no. there. But we gotta go back to the main station over here because you know time is up. Okay. All right. Otra vez. Ya se fue. No, I'm still here. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, you have Hello. like 60, 60 seconds over here. Okay. Okay. All right. So welcome everyone. Um, Yes, the breaker rooms are just closing right now, uh, but we've got to continue with the next activity over here. So just one second. 
Now, just keep in mind that uh, I, I don't really, uh, I mean, I'm not going to really give you some feedback for the exercises over here because uh, basically it's the same information as the platform. But if you have any questions, you know, for me, I can definitely help you out. All right, like pronunciation and grammar and stuff and everything like that. Okay. Now let's continue with this. In some uh, uh, grammar explanation for, for tonight. Simple present W's questions and statements. What I can tell you out of this simply is just be careful when you talk about uh, somebody else, like your brother, your sister, your mom, your uh, wife, etc. In other words, if you use he, she, and it, you gotta make sure to change the verb. Like if you say, I work, you say, he works. If you say, uh, he, uh, I'm sorry, I go to the park every Sunday with my uh, son, you can say, my wife goes to the park. So remember that, okay? In positive statements, it, most verse, I would say 90% of the verse, you just gotta put an S over there after it, that's it. But some others like have, go, and watch, and teach, you gotta be a little bit uh, more careful, like teaches, all right? You can say, uh, Mr. Fran Mr. Alfaro, which is me, teaches English, okay? Or I can say, uh, ev everybody uh, has a class at 9 p.m., okay? So be careful with that. When you ask questions, the verb does not change. And why is that? Because we use an auxiliary or a helping verb, okay? So that's what we use. So uh, do, my friends, can, can be both a, a helping verb, okay? Like some crutches, you know, como sus muletas, all right? It could be a helping verb, or it could also be a main verb, like in this case. So, and we say, what do you do? But you can also say, what do, 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 do. Okay, do. What, do you, what do you do? What do you do? But just keep in mind that we say do when the, when the verb is an auxiliary, like what do you do? And if it's third person, you say what does she do? Or what does he do? Or what does Andrea do? When you respond, okay, when you respond, uh, you say, uh, I don't know, she is a teacher. She is an engineer, she's a mom, she's a housewife. So she works at home or she uh, makes some projects, etc. But listen to this. You just need to practice, that's it. And try to respect and follow the rules. That's pretty much it. So right now, I'm going to choose somebody over here. I'm going to choose someone no let's make it volunteer better i need a volunteer please okay lorena thank you lorena so i'm gonna ask you all the questions over there and you just gotta reply to me okay thank you so unmute your microphone please all right here we go so we're gonna do this quickly so what do you do i'm a student i have a part-time job too where do you work I work at Humble Clinic. And where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. What does Andrea do? She's a guide. She takes people on tour. Where does she work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. And how does she like it? She loves it. All right. I appreciate that. So if I, I'm going to say, uh, for example, I work you're gonna tell me uh, he works okay Lorena. Mm -hmm. so i work he works uh you do you take he takes all right uh i study he study. okay so you can say study ri, ri, ri. study study or study study remember study. in english the letter d and the letter t se hacen r all right study studies studies all right okay 
Okay, so I teach, I teach. He teaches, he teaches. All right, so you do? I go? All right, and remember, I say go, go, o, o, and then goes, 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 o, o, goes. All right, and then we have, uh, uh, I have, half. Hay que tirar el aire, half, half. Half, ¿verdad? Half. Como que voy a decir Francisco. I have. Half. <laughs> I have. Half. Tiene que sentir el aire. Half. Ponga, half. Si se pone la mano, if you put your hand, half. You gotta feel it over there. And then, uh, mm -hmm. he? Half. All right. Let me just, para que no nos quedemos ciego. Sorry about that. Eh, so we don't get blind. Let me just make it bigger over here. So remember, uh, works takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. En realidad, si lo quiero pronunciar bien, 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 como lo hacen los nativos, el goes, has, y el does, y todos los que terminen en teaches, tiene que hacerlo como con zzz, like Brazil. But that's difficult for us. Okay, that's difficult. Pero yo me conformo, y no porque sea conformista, Con tal que usted lo diga, uh, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. With that, it's okay. All right? So, listen to me, please. And uh, remember, it's up to you if you want to go. Waru, waru, waru. No waru, eh? Waru. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something else. That's for Christmas, right? All right. So, what do you do? Where do you work? Or where do you work, where do you work, where do you work, and where do you go to school? What does Andrea do? Uh, where does she work? How does she like it? In this case, El Hao is asking if she likes it or not. Like, for example, I can, I can ask you, uh, Lorena, how do you like to cook? You can say, ah, I mean, I hate it, but I, I got no choice. <laughs> All right. I don't know, right? It's up to you. So. Uh, what you're gonna do right now, my friends, and I'm sorry to uh, tell you this, but I'm gonna send you back again to a breaker room. And what you have to do is to uh, fill in this conversation with a classmate, complete the conversation, then practice with a, with a partner. For example, it says, what do you do? I'm a full-time student, I study the violin. And you gotta put a WH question, maybe how, what? what? In this case, it's a school, right? What is it? What it's that like a, a person or a place? It's a place, right? So you gotta put where, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So it, um, it would be, it would be, and where do you go to school? Mm -hmm. Why it's not study? Because study does not go along with to. It, it will use go, go to. Okay. Eso se llama en inglés, las palabras que van siempre juntitas, se dicen collocation, a collocation, all right? You know, collocation, una como colocación, you know, it's always like that, 100% of the time. Okay, remember that, all right? So, uh, since you already have the PDF with you, please uh, open the PDF and, and you, you have access to the conversation over there. But if you want, look, look at it right now, please. Just to double check that you have it. Okay. Can somebody just tell me, yes, uh, uh, Mr. Alfaro, I have it there. Please. That comes, I mean, this part. I think, yes, you do have it. Yes, I got it. Yeah, you got it over there. I can see that. So uh, it's 9.49. So I'm going to give you, let's say, until 9.55, the top, you know, for you to complete this please, because you, we, we got to do this a little bit quickly, all right? And, and, and then, but, but you got to do two things. Take a look at part B. It says part B, uh, but it's on the next screen, all right? No, it's below over here. Take a look at this. It says, what do you know about these jobs? Complete the, church, the chart, then write sentences about each job. But listen to this. In this class, you don't have to write anything. I, I'm not going to ask you, write this. No, no, no. This class is speaking. 
you do the writing part in the platform. But right now it's just speaking. But if you want to write it down, that's okay. No. So practice the conversation, fill in the blanks, and then just speak. A reporter works for a newspaper, interviews people, writes stories, a flight attendant, think, okay? Helps people in, in uh, or serves food in, in a plane, etc. A teacher, okay? Okay, so two things you're gonna be working on. Is, uh, is that clear, right? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead, please. I st I'm stealing time from you, from you right now. So just one second. Uh, so one more time, it's gonna be in purse, um, most likely. And here we go. There you go. All right, 9.56, we go back. So look at your cell phone or your watch. 9.56, we go back, please. We come back. Uh, <laughs> Creo que está en el archivo que mandó. Está en el PDF, sí. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, está después de la, los ¿En ejercicios. Página, ahí. Yes. La nueve. Yes, after exercise 10, you know, in page, yes, page, page, page yes. nine, yes, correct, page nine. There you have it. Are you on vacation here? Okay. Uh -huh. ah. Quiero ver. Aquí. Yeah, help each other, you know, uh -huh. to fill this. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Kevin, enseñamos. Okay. Are you on vacation here? No, I'm not on vacation. I am still here. Ahora hacemos la pregunta. Mm. Oh, music, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Wow. Uh, what do you like your classes? No, 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 que no va a ser bien. What sería? Sería when. When do you like? No. No, 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 no. cierto, porque dice like. No, wow. What do you like? In this case is how. How do you how, like? How, ¿verdad? Classes? How do you okay. like? ¿Qué tanto le gusta ah, la clase? Okay. How do you like your classes? Uh, how do you like your classes? I like them a lot. I like, I I like them a like, lot. I like, like them, I a like lot. them a lot. Okay. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what? What? En la página 9. Es la que estaba explicando él ahorita. Ah, sí. Es el grammar focus. Yes. Cierto. En la parte A. Sí. Aquí es dice. Entonces, aquí, ¿cómo sería? Dice, what do you do? Esa que tiene el teacher ahorita ahí. Uh -huh. Ah, compartió. Okay. Yes. Ah, quizá. <laughs> ah, aquí. Entonces, es complementar esta... Uh, so what do you do? I am uh, a full time student. I study the violin. Uh, and where do, sería, uh, where do you do to school? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where? Y aquí, I am. La respuesta sería, no. I go I, to the New York school. Ah, uh, sí, porque school. vamos a usar el, el go two. y el two. Y el do. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. I la ve. I go, I go to the new your school of music. Wow. What? What do you like, verdad? All right. Con su permiso, I, I, I gotta go and visit some other rooms. You know, just. Tengo que visitar otros compañeros, verdad? Thank you, so, teacher. So see you around. <laughs> Where? Oh. No. How? 
Do que com seria? How do you like now? How do you like your class now? Permitam-me para mim? Yes. That's a great ringtone, oh, yeah. Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, do you need help? Yes. All right, so how can I help you? So how can I help you over here? Tell me, please. Um, um, uh, letter. Como es literal? How do you say it? Uh, you just say a uh, letter, A, letter B. Ah. Ah, letter three, yeah. Um, Letter, which one is it? Ah, but, um, what part? The last one here, A and B. Letter, uh, A, A, no, uh, arriba, arriba. Number two, or this one? Wow. And, uh, no, one, one, one. Wow. Uh, wow. Yes. Vaya, eh, auxiliense, auxiliense de la gramática. Solo fíjense donde está like, like over here. And then where do you have like out with how, all right? Oh, well, how? How do you like? How do you like your classes? And then you, you gotta say, I. Okay, I. What's I... the verb? What's the verb? Uh, I... I like, I like them a lot. Like, I like. I, I like them I a like lot. Them a lot. Like. O sea, me, o sea, me gusta okay. mucho. And then what? Okay. Uh huh. What do you okay? What's your what auxiliary? Does. No, what does uh, what does does, does, does. Tanya do? Like it, it's the same uh, mm. as, as in the example over here. The like Andrea, Andrea, what does Andrea do? But in this case, it's Tanya. All right, she's a teacher. Okay, she, okay. she, she's teaching. She, she's teach. a teacher. She, um, uh, uh, here, teaches, teaches, right? She teaches. Uh, an art class at a school in Dermer, you continue over there. All right? Okay. All right? Hey. Yes. Uh, All right. Uh, and what about Ryan Ware? Yes. All right. I got to go. You know, I got to visit some of your friends over here as well. Thank you. All right. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work, eh? Yes. For the bag, the peso de las maletas. Yes. Now in in the contract. Um. Um. Reviews the document. Yeah, I review the document. Now a teacher. Yeah. What a teacher. A teacher. Yeah, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen the conversation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, think, uh -huh. uh, we help children to learn math. I, mm -hmm. I help children to, to learn math. Mm -hmm. Another one? Mm. How the, the teacher prepare. The teacher friendly with yeah. the... Gives love to the, to the students. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, little yeah. children, right? And also you. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, and, um, help. Talk with their, talk with their children. Um, give, um, give price, price, things, premium, give. Uh, you may say premium. awards, awards, you may say, or prices. It's up mm -hmm. to you. Now, another one, Camita? Mm -hmm. Good a person with the good a person. You no, mean say, sería uh, buena persona uh, con thing that makes the teacher. Yes, yeah, you yes. can you can also say a teacher uh, has a lot of patience <laughs> or yeah. needs to have a lot of patience. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. To be on time for the class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, you're saying that to me, right? Yeah. No. But in that case, in that case, I have an excuse. <laughs> yeah, I have an excuse. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another thing? Yeah, I mean, I think you covered pretty much everything, more or less. Okay. Yes. So let's go back to the main session and continue with, with the class because we still have two more minutes. Okay. okay. More. <laughs> yeah, teacher needs to be punctual, you say. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So let me close the breaker rooms for you right now. Hold on. Okay. Bye, Lorena. All right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, thanks for still uh, being in class. <laughs> you never know, right? Sometimes you have to go. And we are here. Yeah, you're still here. So I have two, I need two volunteers, please. Just to double check. Okay, double check. Para cerciorarse, you know, double check. Como doblemente revisar. That's what we say, double check. Uh, hold on, two volunteers. Yes, Frank, thank you. One more, please. Yeah, Frank, and who else? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, so Lorena, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, but in this case, uh, Lorena, if you like, uh, Christopher is gonna help us because you helped me on the previous one. Thank you, I'm sorry about that. Yes, uh, Christopher, could you speak, sir? Christopher? What do you do? Yes, and then Frank, you say the other one, please. Part B. You're part B. Uh, Frank, you're going to be part B, and then Christopher is going to be student A. Right? Okay. And, and where do you go to a school? I go to that. No, but in this case, it, let's pretend that it's a conversation. So I'm Christopher. So Christopher, what do you do? And Frank says, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. You continue, please. Okay. So Christopher, start over, please. Um, where? Uh, here, no. What do you do? Ah, okay. I'm sorry. What do you do? Mm -hmm. And a full time student. I studied violin. All right. Continue, Christopher. And, and where do you go to school? Mm -hmm. I go to the New Year School of Music. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. How do you like your class? Says. Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. Okay, I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. Continue, Chris. Uh, what does Tanya do? Yes. She, she, Journalist, she, investigator, she teach, judge. She teaches an art class at the school in Denver. All right, teaches, right? Teaches. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. what about Ryan? Where does he work? Mm -hmm. He 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 worked for a big computer company in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does he do exactly? He's a website designer. He created fantastic websites. Thank you so much. That was perfect. And one advice, I mean, one piece of advice I can give you is right now try to emphasize the, the S, okay? Yeah. Yes, try to do that, please, because your, uh, your brain needs to get uh, familiar with that and then your tongue right in your lungs everything you know your body needs to get familiar with that so it has to you have to do it consciously so that it becomes part of you and that's how you do it all right so what does tanya do she uh teaches in our class so we gotta like you know exaggerate and then uh he works we gotta go like works the thing is that in, the thing is that in the spanish Nos comemos las heces, right? So we don't say the S's in Spanish. That happens, Salvadorians, right? And so that's why. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the class. We did it again. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Gat. Hope to see you tomorrow. You have this material. You know, hopefully it's going to help you uh, complete the platform. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to start with this conversation uh, and we continue with some pronunciation. Hasta me rimó, si se fijan. <laughs> and then, so see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Okay. Good night. So have a great night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye, -bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night.